the Save Humanity Advocacy Center CHAC, has cried out to human rights organizations around the world over the alleged ongoing politically motivated killings in Nigeria, saying it has evidence to prove that the attacks have political undertone. The group, while threatening to drag those behind the bloodletting in the country to the International Criminal Court ICC, noted that the endless clashes between herders and farmers, which had led to loss of lives and valuables worth millions of naira in some parts of the country were motivated. Shaq lamented that some individuals and organizations have taken laws into their hands, by inciting political violence among innocent and harmless Nigerian citizens. We are inundated with overwhelming evidence that suggests that the spate of killings under the guise of herdsmen's, farmers' conflict, are indeed politically motivated, the group said. A statement signed by Adams Odoesq, executive director of the group and obtained by our reporter on Monday claimed that there are overwhelming facts to show that some individuals and organizations are taking advantage of the ethnic and religious fragility of the country to continue to sow the seeds of hate and discord to achieve political goals. According to Odo, this act of impunity, this rampage of impunity must be stopped in the interest of the continued existence of Nigeria and by extension the African continent because of the strategic role Nigeria plays in the political and economic stabilization of the African continent. We are also appalled that despite overwhelming pieces of evidence that point to specific individuals and organizations, nothing has been done to bring them to face the full wrath of the law. While it is worrisome to state that these heinous acts has resulted in the loss of lives and destruction of property, international human rights watchdogs and persecutors such as the United Nations, UN and the International Criminal Court ICC, have not acted in the interest of the human race despite the series of petitions that has been submitted to it. This is very sad. The ICC has the jurisdiction to prosecute individuals for the international crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. The question we, therefore, seek to ask the ICC is whether acts deliberately committed as part of an attack aimed at a specific sect of the population can be considered as a crime against humanity. And if yes, why hasn't the ICC deemed it pertinent to commence prosecution of these individuals and organizations? Does Nigeria not fall under its jurisdiction? Some of these questions we demand answers to in the interest of peace and stability. Having stated the above, we are in unequivocal terms requesting for an immediate investigation on the sponsors of politically motivated killings in Nigeria and also scrutiny of the various petitions that have been submitted to the ICC in recent times. Some individuals that are supposed to conduct themselves as elder statesmen like General T.Y. Danjima have also constituted themselves into that clog in the wheels of progress in the country by directly and indirectly inciting the people to take up arms against a particular sect in the society. We are worried that no single individual has been called for questioning despite overwhelming pieces of evidences before the ICC. As a way forward, the SHAC as an organization, in conjunction with other stakeholders, is desirous to see to an end of the spate of political killings, under the guise of ethnic and religious crisis, in the country. We are consequently going to embark on daily sit-outs and pressure outings to drive home our point in the light of the above.